Hey guys, how's it going? Thank you so much for joining me in my live on this lovely Wednesday evening. I know a while ago I said I was going to start doing Thursdays, but then I just feel like my life got crazy and I can't be scheduling <laughs> things like that. Uh, but no, I'm finally happily, happy to be live. It's uh, been a couple of weeks. How's it going? Hi, Shannon. Hi, Kiana. Hi, Kalina. Lorna. Jamila. Hello, hello. Okay, guys. So... I don't know when my next live is going to be after this. I think my life is going to start to get a little bit crazy here. So I think this is going to be the last live for a few weeks until I get back into a normal schedule. But I'm really excited to be here and thank you guys for being here early. While we wait for more people to come in, let's start off how I always start off. I want everybody in the chat box to share one positive thing that has happened to you this week, no matter how big or how small. If you are watching this on the replay, not live, comment down below. I read every single comment, even if I don't get to respond back. Let me go first while you guys are typing. Well, Jose and I bought a car, so that was exciting. I've never bought a car before. I've been driving the same car since I was like, 16 so yeah i got used out of my old car so i'm excited about that and i uh, just looking ahead of time i'm moving next week which is crazy right <laughs> i feel very overwhelmed i need to uh start packing my makeup room i started a little bit but as you can see i still have all my products behind me i i'm gonna start packing my products tomorrow but um this is my announcement that i have videos pre-filmed the movers are gonna have my stuff for 10 days so i won't be able to film with my collection or anything like that i don't know how consistent my video uploads are going to be you guys know i'm pretty good about getting videos up despite whatever's going on in my life so i will have stuff but it won't be like six times a week <laughs> like i'm uploading now but anyways let's see what we got going on Ooh, we got some good stuff miri said i'm here with my glass of sparkling wine positive thing is the yummy sparkling wine mm. tia said i was just offered a new job with a significant pay increase amazing congratulations oh <laughs> anastasia said i got to 90k on tiktok today oh my god girl you are growing go check out her tiktok she does a lot of great hooded eye tutorials very very talented um tiktok's the way to go amazing uh becky bought a car too same girl same let's see rachel said i had a lovely galentine's with my roommates um brianne said i had a super chill and relaxed valentine's day by myself i enjoy being by myself i'm an only child i would enjoy that as well samantha has a new puppy very very exciting i wish i could have a puppy um ashley said her haul from food a beauty arrived amazing those are supposed to be beautiful brushes i've that's what it is, right? I've never tried their brushes before. Jilly said, I had a good chat with my mentor today after a few rough days at work. I'm glad you're feeling better. Brianna, I hope my move goes well too. <laughs> yes, uh, I move officially on the 24th of next week. Oh, we're out of here, but the movers come on Monday, so it's going to be like a weird waiting period until then where I won't have my stuff, and I probably won't have my stuff until like the beginning of march so that's sad kimberly got a new fish tank very cool oh i hate when it puts me at the bottom um i'm sorry if i miss some of yours lorena received her lila palette today Ooh, i hope you love it fox does makeup you did tell me you were getting surgery well i really hope that it goes well and i hope the results are good and that you can feel better after that and all of that um oh i'm happy you guys can make it to a live i bought a new house together with my longtime boyfriend and you're getting mar married very soon congratulations it's a big deal a house um tammy found out her son and wife was having a girl i'm gonna go back and read these once the live is over probably tomorrow liz liz received her first order from florisis amazing awesome okay 
I'll go back and read them later, but thank you guys so much for sharing something good that happened to you. Love to start off with something positive. So today I don't envision to be very long, but I want to get a shop or drop up for you guys. So we're just going to do it live. I kind of like doing it live because we can talk our ish together, you know what I mean? So let's go to Trend Mood. I do have them linked in the chat box if you want to see that. Oh, but first, actually, let me share this. Some makeup news, new launches, whatever, whatever. Sephora got the goods. Now, they also... Oh. But they also had more stuff come today. Uh, but this is what I'm personally excited about. The one size turn up the base, what is it, blur cream, something, whatever. I'm excited about this. I'm not going to order it just yet because I'm supposed to have a PR package coming. And I think it's this. So let me save some coins for that. The Natasha Denona I Need a Rose Lip Collection came to Sephora today. Not just the lipsticks, but also the lip liners and liquid lipsticks are also online. So that's on Sephora if you want to pick that up. I uh, I spent $136 on the whole set. It's supposed to be at my house tomorrow. So I'm ho hopeful to get that filmed for you guys. And then also the Makeup by Mario lip creams are out. I think... A lot of eyes are on Makeup by Mario's lip products now because he had a product go viral that sold out everywhere. So that's just a little update there. Um, Sydney said, I've gotten so into lip products lately and these are looking so good, especially the Makeup by Mario lip creams. I mean, eyes are on him for lip products now. So yeah, anyways, that came to Sephora if you're interested. Let's take a look at the makeup, shall we? It's been a few weeks since I've done this, so I definitely have some items that I'm going to go a little further back because we got to talk about them, okay? So let's see, where do I want to start? A quick update. I will probably do this update in the speed reviews. I don't think I like the KVD Good Apple Concealer. It's very temperamental. Sometimes it looks good. Other times, I look very wrinkly under my eyes. So the fact that I'm just not sure yet, I think should tell me. I've been eyeing this palette from Ace Beauty. This became available like two weeks ago. <laughs> but I just want to show you how pretty it is. And doesn't this remind you of Angie's collab with Odin's Eye? Angie's collab's a little prettier. This one seems more matte. There's only three shimmers. But anyways, if you like those like mustardy tones, how beautiful do these look? So anyways, I will not be picking up this palette. This is a drop for me personally, but I just want you to know it's really, really beauty, beauty, pretty. <laughs> I was going to say it's a beauty. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so here is something that I am so excited about you guys. It's launching tomorrow. I would totally have a link up for you. Tell me if you're excited about this. So Makeup Forever is launching a new HD skin foundation. Undetectable instantly blurs 24 hour wear. Don't do that, but it okay. Natural true to skin finish 40 shades. I am in there like swimwear. I'm definitely buying this. Shop, shop, shop. The Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation has been a staple go-to ever since I started getting into makeup. And I feel like we have not had much from Makeup Forever, but I'm excited about this. Um, Cindy said, yes, the description sounds so perfect. Excited for this foundation review. Um, Becky said, I like Makeup Forever shade range. Yes, their shade that is my match is perfect for me. Uh, <laughs> Patricia said, but is it dry skin friendly? I will let you know, friend. Um, based on my experience with Makeup Forever foundations, I find that they are, but I will let you go. Uh, Jilly Mike, I believe this is a new formulation, but correct me if I'm wrong, if somebody knows the answer. Um... Mary said, I'm really excited for the foundation. Just grabbed the concealer and glad I didn't get the Reboot foundation. I actually didn't tr ever try the Reboot foundation. I wonder why I didn't. Yes, so many foundations. As a makeup reviewer, my skin is like not happy about it. Uh, I guess Sephora, this is what I've heard. They 
with the brands that they are partnered with, they kind of give them assignments, if you will, like around this time, you need to come out with this product. So I think that is why so many brands tend to come out with so many things at the same time. You'll notice that those are the bigger brands that are sold at bigger stores like Sephora. It's all on a time frame that they're given, I do believe. Like, I'm not truly in the industry, but that is what I've heard, and that would make sense. Charlene said, I see alcohol as the third ingredient in the foundation. If that's a red flag for you, thank you for sharing that. Um, oh, Diana said, Sephora is having buy one, get one 50% off select mascaras. I got two rare beauty mascaras. Ooh, awesome. Kimberly said, I need to try some new foundations. Well, there is a lot of options. So anyways... I will be buying this. I sound, I am so excited about this. A lot of the foundations trending right now are supposed to be like supernatural, true to skin, like skin-like finish. By the way, I'm wearing the new Kosas today. It's my second day wearing it. No, it's my third day wearing it. Um, I really like it. I it's, uh, it's wearing better than I thought it would. So, so far the Kosas is working out for me. Okay, let's move on. A couple of you tagged me on this. I feel like Urban Decay has become that brand that we love to hate. Like everything they come out with, like you want to talk about it because Urban Decay holds a special like place in your heart, but everything they come out with is just like, you love to hate it, you know? So this is the Stay Naked Quickie Concealer. I don't think I'm going to get this. It's tentative, but I think... I think I'm going to drop it. What do you guys think? Mm, Sharon said, I need a new concealer. Um, Urban Decay needs a full redo on everything. I would agree with that. They seem to be a little too stuck in their old ways. They, they got to go back to being a cool brand because it is just wah, 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 boring, repetitive, and honestly, not amazing quality. That being said, I liked the Wild Green palette. Okay? I know opinions were mixed. I liked it. <laughs> it wasn't for everybody. Uh, but for Urban Decay, even the name, it's about being cool and new and in innovative and fun. And they don't come out with anything new and fun or innovative, anything like that. So I'm interested because I, I, ju I just like an, a, a new concealer, okay? I'm a curious person in the makeup world. <clears throat> But does this launch excite me? Nah. <laughs> so, tentative drop. I don't know. If the opportunity presents itself to pick it up, it fits in my schedule, maybe. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, probably not. Not for me. What do we think? Kimberly said, Urban Decay is just disappointing these days. They need to up their game. Urban Decay needs to head to the drugstore. Mmm. Just for the name, drop it, Terry said. <laughs> ah, Urban Decay needs clothes. We are tired of the naked. Um, Urban Decay shadows are chalkiness. Uh, okay, yeah. So I think we're all on the same page as that. I'm not interested, right? Um, oh, I missed this. Laneige chocolate mask? I like the way that sounds. I want to get that. <laughs> that might happen. Okay. Let's see. Anything interesting? Oh, another concealer. LYS uh, launched this concealer. I know it's available now. I didn't pick it up. I am going to. Um, I'm going to make an, a Sephora order soon. This won't be its own review, but it's something that I'm just going to pick up along the way. I just tried their foundation within the last few months and I really really liked it so I'm definitely interested in this I know a lot of people have their reviews up on this so yeah I'm a fan of the foundation so I will be picking this up this is a shop not going to get a full dedicated review but I am very excited to support the brand for sure Tiger said I'm curious about the LYS concealer Taylor said still never tried LYS I like their foundation. I think it's nice. It's not long wearing, but it looks gorgeous on the skin while it is still wearing well. Um, if anything, LYS is remotely as good as the bronzer. You can give me all the things. I've never tried their bronzer. I have tried their blush. I do like their blush. Um, yeah. 
I think Lys, L-Y-S, excuse me, is a solid brand, and I'll be picking this up. I'm not jumping for joy at this launch. A concealer is a concealer, but I'm still excited for it. Ugh, dang, concealers are coming out too. Tarte Power Flex. I'm not even going to waste too much breath on this drop. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what have I not talked about? I heard on TikTok this elf soap brow is supposed to be good. Uh, people were telling me that, which if you're not following me on TikTok, follow me. In the last month, I've made it a goal to upload on there frequently, and I think I've pushed out some good stuff. Haven't tried this yet, though, but I heard that's great. I'm going to move past it, though. Um, Sharon said, I don't love tar anymore. Oh, concealer. I don't, I haven't had the best luck with Benefit's complexion products, honestly. What is this? The Boing Bright On Concealer. I like the packaging. I like that it looks like a pencil, but dropping on that. Okay, let's keep it moving. So, I've never tried this brand before, but I did want to make a point to talk to you about this. You know, I'm a palette girl. Clarity Cosmetics launched the Bloom Palette. This color story is what my dreams are made of. This is stunning. Okay, whoever curated this, genius. I've never tried this brand before. What do you guys think if you've tried it? Um, but... How beautiful does this look? Now, this is the palette where, like, I would n probably never wear this off camera. <laughs> I'd only wear it to look pretty for you guys. But I feel like this looks so stunning. So I don't know if anybody has ever tried this formula before. But um, if you do want to support indie brands, it is launching February 25th. And you can use code TREND for 5% off. It looks gorgeous, right, Reina? I'm just saying. Uh, when is, is this the same palette? No, Glaminatrix. I've never tried Glaminatrix before. Okay, let's keep scrolling. These have launched as well. I know I'm a little behind. But Patrick Ta launched some double take cream and powder blushes i believe one shade is new and then the other three are from the holiday palette i think it's nice that if you missed out on the holiday palette you can pick it up in individuals or if there was a shade in particular that you liked they are quite bright though i will say that and also new lip gloss colors as well i didn't pick up anything from this launch so this is a drop but i already own the blushes but i will say the formula here is worth it. Definitely worth the purchase. If there's a color that you're interested in, Emily said, love, love, love these blushes. Yes, they are the bomb, but they're bright. Oh, whoops. They're bright, guys. Uh, like medium and richer skin tones, it's it's a good formula for you people who are on the lighter side like me i need to use a very 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 light hand jilly max said i got the holiday palette never used it don't know where i put it i hope you find it so that you can use it it's a beautiful formula um caitlin i've tried one of his lip glosses before it was more clear with a glimmer i like it a lot i thought it was a very very pretty um nothing groundbreaking formula wise but i did enjoy it I wanted to talk about how interesting this is. I believe it's a rumor, so I cannot confirm nor deny. But Charlotte Tilbury is supposed to be coming to Ulta. I, that's hard for me to wrap my mind around because I've always seen Charlotte Tilbury as a little bit more exclusive. Like, Ulta, you know, they got it all for sure. But I don't see too many luxury brands at Ulta, so that's why it's a little harder for me to wrap my head around. Either way... Sephora should be absolutely quaking. They should be terrified. I mean, Ulta, it's getting better and better. They're taking over Target. Ulta should, or uh, Target, Sephora should be scared, <laughs> okay? That's what I have to say about that. Yes, they did get Chanel as well. Um, I'm happy about it. I have no complaints. That means Charlotte Tilbury is even more accessible and the Ulta point system is way better than Sephora. And you know what? 
maybe that's going to make Sephora sweat a little bit and make their point system a little bit better. Um, I'm more of an, a Sephora girl. You guys know that. Sephora has my heart, but I know this, this is exciting news in the industry for sure. <laughs> a little friendly competition, hopefully. And they also did just get Fenty for sure. This is confirmed that Sephora or that Fenty. I'm like mixing up my words. It is confirmed that Fenty is coming to Ulta, which is why Sephora should be absolutely terrified. But it's exciting. I hope the rumor is true as well. Uh, Caitlin said, I always get better customer service at Sephora. Not a fan of Ulta. Very, very fair. Uh, but um, Miri said, I prefer Ulta's point system. Ulta has had Chanel like perfume and fragrance for a while in select stores. I saw, but I think this is the first time, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this might be the first time they're bringing in makeup. I'm not sure. Um, so hopefully, oh, Kimberly said, Sephora does me dirty when they ship. They just throw the stuff in the box. Well, that I will agree with. Um, I've gotten lucky, but I'm waiting for something to come broken. Um, I also get better customer service at Sephora. At Ulta, no one helps me. Sharon said, I just bought my Chanel foundation at Ulta. So good news, I, I think, for most people. I don't think this is going to hurt anybody. It's just going to make the brand more accessible. I'm excited about it. But again, it's just weird to have a luxury brand come to Ulta. That is fabulous for Ulta that they're expanding into even more brands. And Ulta is coming for Sephora. That's all I have to say about that. Uh, make sure you guys, if you haven't, that you have picked up Angie's new palette with Odin's Eye, the legendary Diversa palette. Say I in the chat box if you picked this gorgeous palette up. I do have a review of it. I mean, this is totally Angie. I love the green tones. I think they are so beautiful. And this palette is a little bit more versatile than you think it would be. As always, Odin's Eye has very, very good quality. Sasha got it. Ellen got it. Kalina got it. Tracy got it. Yeah, I mean, I know some people told me they didn't order it just because it is a bit brighter, which is totally understandable. Uh, but it's really fun if you like fun colors. I liked it. Angie said mine is on its way. I picked it up. Yeah, for you guys who ordered it, I think you're really going to like it. You're going to have a lot of fun. Definitely try and follow Angie's tutorials. She's already done and posted so many beautiful looks. So the way she looks at color it's very interesting to me. Like, she just comes up with these color placements that I would never think of. And she's so good at what she does. And how beautiful is the artwork and the photos that she's been posting. So, congratulations, Angie, if you ever get the chance to see this. Uh, great palette. I hope you guys pick it up if you would like to support her. All right, let's move on. I see a lot of you guys picked it up. Uh, la, 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 la. Hi, Vianney. Vianney has a YouTube channel. If you guys want to check it out, Vianney Strick. She does a lot of uh, more affordable makeup brands. I saw she actually just posted a full face of Kosas before I got on this live. So check her channel out. She plays around with a lot of makeup. Okay, next up, Givenchy. We have some new Prism Libre, Libre sorry, <laughs> breast powders and loose powders. These always intrigue me. They are very appealing to the eye for me at least drop on these because i can tell you i don't need them but they will be available in march and april on their websites and retailers i've bought these before don't really use them but aren't they pretty to look at well taylor said Givenchy is boring you're not wrong i'm definitely struck by the name brand that's for sure but i like the colors um Oh, Brandy, th thank you for summing to Vianney. Woot woot. All right, you guys. So, dropping that. Givenchy's kind of boring. So, Pat McGrath. Looks like there's going to be a part two to their Bridgerton collection. Two lip colors. They look very pretty. Two lip liners. Pinky, peachy. Um... I did get asked a few times, like, why do I think these didn't come out with the main collection? Honestly, you guys, I think it just has to do with the supply chain right now. I think that these, for whatever reason, whatever's happening in the su supply chain, 
these could not be there in time for the launch. They couldn't wait anymore. And so these are just a separate launch in of itself. It makes sense. I mean, I really don't mind. <laughs> uh, it doesn't hurt all at once picking it up then. So they look pretty. I wish we did a little bit more with the components themselves. It's just her regular component with gold Bridgerton drawings on it slapped on there. The boxes look pretty. I mean, you guys know I was so pumped about this collection, but the excitement has worn off simply because it's been out for a long time. I got over that hump of being excited about it. I tried it. I loved it. I reviewed it. Whatever, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, my excitement has dined out died down for it will i be buying it like yeah <laughs> i'm a clown <laughs> i will be shopping these but no i don't think it's anybody's fault really that these are coming out later and i don't really know that it's marketing either i just think they couldn't get it in time and that is that um yeah terry said it's at least it spreads out spending our money probably i think definitely less people are buying this because the hype has died down for sure so I don't think the sales will probably be as good with this. Uh, I'm not mad, though, that it's pinks, though, Kimberly, because it's a lip color. That's what people are going to wear. And honestly, that type of color makes a lot of sense to me for this particular collection. But, you know, you don't need it. So this isn't something that I would say, oh, my God, you guys need to get. You don't. But I'm getting it. <laughs> and that's that. Um, yeah. Meh. Okay. Listen, I I like this. It looks like the Huda Beauty Naughty Nudes, but I like it. Would you guys shame me if I bought this? Am I the only one that's like the basic B in me is like I think I like it. <laughs> Girl, don't do it, mom. <laughs> Allie said it looks like ABH soft glam. I can totally see that. Boring neutral. Two Faced is reaching. Vianney's with me. She said it's very pretty. Thank you, girl. <laughs> I won't shame you. <laughs> Oy vey. I heard it's a repackaged Born This Way palette. Not my cup of tea. It's cute, but fall colors. Very fair. Um, no shame. I feel like we're split on this one. You guys. I think I'm going to get it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I like it. These are like my... This is kind of like the look that I'm wearing today. I think it's so pretty. It's, it's totally dupable. It's, there is not a single thing unique about this palette. But I cannot resist a good, rich, neutral palette. We also have these Lip Injection Maximum Plump. My eye is going to this coral color with the gold shift. Dropping these. Not getting this nonsense. That's for sure. I love, 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 love this bronzer. It smells like chocolate. It's... I like chocolate smelling bronzers. But anyways, I'm going to get it. I don't care what you guys think about me. I think it's so pretty. Uh, it's coming March 31st, so wait, I got some time. You know what? Maybe by the time it launches, I will have had my moment with it, and I'm not excited about it anymore. And let's be honest, I know it's not about to be the best quality. Like, I know that. I know that. Whatever, I like it. <laughs> I see. Do it. Get it. Um... <laughs> lip injections, lip gloss burns like the depths of HD double hockey sticks. Um... It's intense. I honestly, I like the feeling of them, though. Uh, <laughs> I like the spice of it. So, anyways, I have this color. I have this palette, basically, right? But I don't care what y'all say. Oh, my goodness, how beautiful is she? Oh, well, Rihanna was there. <laughs> That's Trend Moods Post. Okay, I told you guys I was gonna... I think I have this coming to me in PR next week. This is the One Size Turn Up the Base Beauty Blur Bomb. And I had a few of you tell me that you actually tried this or picked it up and that it's really, really nice. So I was like kind of on the fence if I wanted to buy it. And then you guys told me how good it was. So if it doesn't come to me, I'm definitely shopping this. I want to try it. Uh, Taylor said, I want to try it. I mean, 
it's a it sounds like a very trendy product uh it launched a couple days ago if you want to try it out it's supposed to be oil free boost hydration for my dry skin erases texture no product does that but i come in hopeful every time 33 dollars 18 shades with different undertones um they call it the bbb beauty blur balm cream anyways i'm interested you know what I think one size, and this is me speculating, I have no background knowledge on this at all, but one size is first launch. I don't think they got the hype that they wanted, but they are taking over TikTok, and I think it has really made the brand more popular, and I'm excited that it's going well. It's an influencer brand, which is very exciting, and I think they do have a good core group of products, so I'm excited to see this. I think it's innovative enough of a product uh, to where it's exciting, but it's not too out there, not like too much of a reach or a cash grab, so I'm excited. Looks interesting to me. Uh, someone asked if it is dewy or matte. That I don't know. I was assuming it would be matte because they say it's blurring, but I could be wrong. I have not tried it, and it doesn't specify on trend mood, at least. So, yeah, I'm excited. I will be getting it. I don't know if I'll do a full-blown review. Probably not, but I will definitely update you guys. <clears throat> I've already told you guys I spent $186 on this entire collection. <laughs> it is available right now on Sephora. Uh, so obviously I shopped it. So if you want to get it, I actually have it linked down below if you want to shop through my links. Uh, I ordered it directly from Natasha Denona. It's supposed to come to my house tomorrow. So depending on what time it comes, this review will be up either Thursday or Friday, depending. But I am a sucker for Natasha Denona's lipsticks. If you have never tried her lipsticks, second favorite lipstick formula ever. First place is Charlotte Tilbury. Natasha Denona is a close, close second really really smooth um her lip liners are also really nice i've never tried her liquid lipstick formula i mean these colors look right up my alley so couldn't choose so i just got them all um such a pretty collection never tried her lipsticks taylor you are missing out yeah it looks pretty i mean are you guys on low buys? I feel like a lot of you told me that you were on low buys. If you are on a low buy, don't buy these. These are not that unique of colors, but <laughs> they look pretty, right? They're not that new, for sure. Oh, Debbie. Natasha Denona says it's a new lipstick formula. Oh, then I'm glad I got this. So I will be the judge of that if it is good or not. I'm sure it will be good. But I am definitely excited to try this out. So I'm getting that. And this honestly is the main reason I wanted to talk to you guys. You guys know I'm literally a fangirl of Vizzy Art. This is so cool to me. So they've launched the Petite Mats collections. So all of these palettes that you're seeing... They're $80. Well, the big ones, okay? And they have reduced the size of those $80 palettes into a nice compact little palette for half the price, $40. This is amazing. Like, I'm kind of freaking out about this. If you've wanted to try Vizier before, oh my god, dude. <laughs> Not to be dramatic, not to, like, be pushy with you. I don't make a cent off this if you buy this, but you need to... Okay, so hear me out. I use the Vizier in my makeup kit. Love, love, love their shadows. Professional quality. So this palette right here, this is neutral mattes. This made the brand years ago. Everybody loved it. The issue was that it's it's eighty dollars. Okay, it's eighty dollars. Do you really want to pay eighty dollars for like such a boring palette? It is now in their petite packaging. Okay, the exact same color is just smaller. Like, this is my dream. This is exactly what I want brands to do. I want a lot of colors in small sizes. Um, and this is a great way to try Vizier's formula without breaking the bank. I actually don't have the dark matte, this one right here. So I'm almost considering get the, getting this one. I have all the rest. Um, Editorial Brights is a fun one. You can get it in... This is so exciting to me. I cannot contain it. Um... 
<laughs> people pay $89 for four shades of Tom Ford. Guilty. Um, now, what I cannot say is if the formula is the same. That's a great question. Haven't tried them. I am enthusiastically speaking from a standpoint that they are the same, but that I do not know, and I cannot answer that. Uh, they are very tiny, though. If you don't like tiny, tiny shades, no. They're like samples, basically, but I like that. I'm really excited about it. I don't, it's not the one that's the size of a bank card. It's a little bit bigger, but they're really small. They're great for travel. I like little things, okay? <laughs> I like these. I'm excited about these. So I just think it's really neat that they took their very popular matte eyeshadow palettes that are extremely expensive, primarily used in the pro artistry world, and made them a little bit more accept or a little bit more what's the word I'm looking for? Accessible to just the normal market of people, okay? So I'm excited about that. And yeah, I just had to share that. And so, they're matte palettes, though. Do you need a matte palette? Okay. Uh, la, 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 la. Um, I talked about this already. The makeup by Mario Ultra, Ultra Suede Cozy Lip Creams. They're available at Sephora now. I will pick up like one or two shades eventually, not in a rush, but I did see. His last new lip formula went totally viral on TikTok and you can't buy them anymore and everybody's loving them. So I think all eyes are on makeup by Mario. So just be careful that the shades you don't that you like don't sell out. Have you reached the top? Yeah. I see that trend mood says some new things for your lips at Sephora. I'm telling you, Sephora just, like, took all their new items and threw them on the website today. Merit Beauty. Never tried anything, but it looks like they have some lipsticks. Tower 28 has some new colors. These are very beautiful glosses, by the way. Um, and Lawless, which I've also never tried Lawless before besides an eyeshadow palette. Forget the filler lip plumping gloss. So maybe take a gander over to Sephora. Walk. Take your local Sephora in person or go online, take a look at what they have. But that is pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about for today. Just some of the new products. It's been a while since I've done a shopper drop. And again, I wanted to give you guys the update that uploads are going to start becoming a little bit more inconsistent. If you missed it and you just came in, I, I'm moving next week. And all my makeup is still here. <laughs> so I need to like get on this. So I'm going to be busy. And then the movers are going to have my stuff for like 10 days. And I, I, I won't be able to film. So that is happening. Um, fingers crossed everything goes well. I'm very excited. But anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me in this live. I hope I made your time worth it. Your time is valuable to me. And I will see you guys either in tomorrow or Friday's upload. I'm not sure when the next video is going out. Probably tomorrow. But I think this weekend is probably going to be crickets for me. So just be prepared for that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Have a good evening.